All right, um, this is gonna be the last video in this area, which is uh, Bald Pate Mountain Forest um, in Hopewell. I did a live video earlier, but uh, basically I wanna point something out before I started walking. Um, I found out from Fairfax that this land over here, this, uh, these trees, which are gonna be in affected, basically this whole stretch where the pipeline is gonna be, and actually I'll do it this way because you can probably see it. You can see there's transmission towers and transmission lines. Basically, this is the second place that uh, Penn East has been proposed. The first place, too many people made a fuss, so Penn East got tricky. So this is kind of, I see it as a way to learn about how corporations use propaganda. Um, they said, all right, well, you know what? We'll put the pipeline, because we're, we're nice, nice guys. We're gonna put the pipeline into an area that's already right of way. Because look, this is already farce that's been torn down because JCP and L put these transmission lines. So uh, Penn East, the company, um, as you know, their nefarious ways said, look, we're gonna be in a right of way, but they're not. They're actually gonna go, uh, they're gonna leave a tree line and then they're gonna go deeper into the forest running parallel to a right of way. But they're saying they're in a right of way, but their actual proposed thing, when people look at it and analyze it, which they're, they're hoping less and fewer people do, um, is not actually saving any forest. It's actually just going right next to it. And they're gonna leave trees, which will be even more negative affected, which will, and they'll eventually probably not survive. So that will also die back. So they're gonna end up taking more land out for this project. Um, because uh, they're, they're basically, it's called islandization. They're islandizing a strip of land. So, um, but we don't know that um, unless you're really critical of these uh, companies and, and critical thinking about how they really, what they really care about, which is money um, and about control over the land that, they, that they're gonna use for their own purposes. Um, also another story, I don't think this made it onto the video, Penn East, um, before it got the FERC, which is the federal agency that gives right of, uh, I guess, grants eminent domain, didn't yet give them anything. But back a while ago, Penn East came onto this land like they already owned it and started doing some experimental drilling to figure out what kind of rocks were here, to know what kind of drill bits they'd need or, or whatever they need mechanically and to come up with estimates. That was illegal. So they just came onto the land and they were actually kicked off but that just shows you how much, um, how cavalier they are, that they think they already own it. So they're just assuming they're gonna get it. So let's disappoint them. Let's not let that happen. The other thing I wanna say, this is um, not related to Penn East, but um, I wanted to say earlier, uh, there is a Bear Mountain, there's an event this weekend ongoing right now, it's called the Bear Mountain Pow Wow. So that's something to check out. I know a lot of people I don't know if this is going to reach anybody. I don't know if I'm going to post it tonight, but I know a lot of people within the network of uh, friends on Facebook that I have are plurality of you are from either Connecticut, New Jersey, or New York. And Bear Mountain's kind of fairly central to all of you there. A lot of you who from that area already know what Bear Mountain is. There's this really big powwow. I think if you type in Bear Mountain powwow, um, you could go there and see what's up. So that's a really big way to just stay part of the movement and kind of make maybe make some new inroads to uh, people that want to defend the land and be with the land. So yeah, that's all. I don't know if I'm going to share it on time for that, but I just wanted to say that anyway. So it's good that there's powwows still going on. I'm sorry to have missed it, um, but this is important what I'm doing, I feel. So uh, I would like to uh, um, try and make it to one in the future though. All right, I'm going to end it there. Bye.